All right, let's uh, bring uh, Mike North into the conversation here. Mike, of course, uh, want to talk to him about Jay Cutler. Yes, start uh, We'll there. begin there. I want to remind everybody, you can check out Mike North. He writes for the Daily Herald now, does a great job as a columnist, by the way. Uh, you can hear him with Steve Cochran Friday afternoons at 5.50 and watch his daily 30 and 5 video commentary at 560WIND.com. His visit brought to you in part by the Village of Rosemont and Home Comfort Heating, Cooling, Plumbing, and Electric. Hi, Mike. How are you? Great. I had a, I had a guy that was cooking me breakfast in Vegas uh, at some restaurant that went to Rodeo Clown School for Get about two here. months. Honest to God. Really? Yeah. I wouldn't have gone. I wouldn't have passed. By the way, the gay rodeo, uh, we used to, you know, the gay rodeo was in Tucson. Yep. We used what? to say haw he instead of he haw <laughs> back in the day. Those yeah. were the days. Haw he. Tell you what, that whole rodeo scene it's is ridiculous. Just, it's a world unto it's, itself. No, it's a subculture. It is. It is. I mean, these guys, one guy wears a helmet, the other guy wears like chaps, and that's it. There was a, we had an opportunity years ago when I was at 99 to open shows for Chris Ledoux, mm -hmm. who was a great uh, singer and a fine songwriter, but previously he was this huge rodeo star. You know, and his whole band was made up of these these roughnecks from the rodeo world. And even if we uh, made any sort of goofy reference to rodeo, you know, rodeos backstage, or looked at it even, you know, mad. slightly with a fisheye, God, they take you out back and just, you know, hog tie. Rodeo it. gave us everything we got, man. Yeah. <laughs> it was not to be not Keep to it be down about with. the rodeo. We got our amplifier because of that. Makes the Hell's Angels look tame. <laughs> All right, so Jay Cutler pushing around offensive linemen. Good yes. thing or bad thing? Uh, you know what? It, it, the way they're making it out, it's a bad thing. He did bump them. Uh, I saw DJ Moore's comments today in the paper, and uh, I, I just think the the best way to go about this is I wrote a column in the Daily Herald today comparing Derrick Rose to Jay Cutler. I mean, one guy's beloved, loves his city, uh, is worried about the fact that uh, you have issues, uh, you know, with the teacher strike, the murder rate. The other guy bumps his teammates, has nothing to do with anybody, wants to just go home and do his thing. And, uh, you know, if we lose, we lose. I mean, that's that's the difference between the two stars of, of, of each franchise. So uh, I, I think it's a bad thing what happened. I hear that there is some problems in the locker room. Uh, Lovey Smith did not know that DJ Moore made comments in the paper today saying mm -hmm. that he shouldn't have done that he likes to keep things in house but he said as long as he kept it uh you know as long as he brought out and said admitted it that it was him that said it, it's okay he doesn't like uh people being anonymous but uh i think it will blow over but you know it, it's a long pattern of things with jay cutler uh from standing on the sidelines not helping his teammates uh to surliness and he's the face of the franchise God, and, I and i don't think he's gonna make city. it he could own the could city. Could own the city, and instead he's going to probably be escorted out if they don't make the playoffs at the end of the year. This is not general manager Phil Emery's guy. It's just like Angelo got rid of Orton, even though, you know, because he did not pick Orton. It was a Mark Cantley pick. Uh, I think the same thing may happen unless the Bears make the so playoffs. So you don't think uh, Jay Cutler needs to go to anger management school? <laughs> No, he's got issues, man. He got the kid at home. He got the the the, the new deal going. He got kid uh, the the baby and all that. He's got. I, I just think it, the heat of the moment got to him. It's a physical game. Uh, I think the yelling. You know, you can yell if you produce. I guess because Bra Brady does it. I've seen Aaron Rodgers do it. He did it in that game. He yelled at one of his players, but uh, Jermichael Finley. But he's won a Super Bowl. He's been an MVP. We're still waiting on Jay Cutler to do the same thing. Who is the, uh, who's having a worse morning, Jay Cutler or Peyton Manning? Wow. I, you know what? I, I, Jay Cutler still is. Peyton Manning got up today going, what was where was I throwing the ball? Looked Cutler-like in that game last night in the first half. His first three passes, I mean, I, he throws the first couple just up for grabs for interceptions. Never gave his team a chance. Uh, so, you know, if you're Denver, John Elway sat up there last night. I know this, people, the first week did not miss Tebow. Last night, they definitely did miss Tim Tebow, at least the Tim Tebow uh, backers of the Denver Broncos. Uh, in that Jets game I saw over the weekend, they had Tebow, like, running pass routes. Yeah, Tebow's blocking now, <laughs> runs pass routes. Yeah. I saw him selling uh, concessions. He was making pizza. And he has that lemonade stand, He holds too. chapel. Yeah. He holds chapel in, 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 in before the game. I mean, he, I mean, really, I wouldn't have picked him up if I was them. This, you know, it was weird to see him leave, leave San, Sanchez leave the game and see Tebow play five uh, downs in a row, and then all of a sudden they made a first down, then they didn't, and they just took him right out and put Sanchez back in. So it is a strange strange situation. Uh, Mike North, thanks for your insight and your All right, analysis. Guys. Great having you on the program. Good to talk to you. Read Mike North right. in the Daily Herald, 750.